Right now, we're offering some new services. The new services are, we will set up your holding company for you, your operating companies, give you deep insights on how to get your business banking and how to get that first business credit card. All that stuff will be done for you, except for the banking and you getting the business credit card. And also we've got a lot of stuff going on with the man program and the sale continues to the end of the month. All right, so let's go ahead and get into what I wanna talk about today. It's very much, 2009 ish for me. Now, what do I mean by that? 2009 was the time that I first came on YouTube. We're in the middle of a recession. We had the housing crisis. We had all kinds of stuff. We had people being foreclosed on. We had a lot of bad things happening. A lot of bad things happening, right? So I came on YouTube. I wrote a book during all of this bad stuff and I made a lot of money. So what we need to do is go ahead and prepare ourselves to get this money. See, a lot of people are not prepared to get money. A lot of people are not prepared to get money. They want money. They talk about getting money. They dream of getting money, but they're not prepared to get money. Now, let's go ahead and talk about this. First of all, you need first of all, you need to prepare yourself to be willing to work hard. All right, I have none of this. You can cut your hours in half and you can make 30, 40, $50,000 a month. I'll actually talk about that. It took me years. I remember when I first started consistently making 20,000 a month, I was thrilled. I was thrilled. It took me a few years to get there. But once again, I was doing a lot of work. I was setting up a lot of stuff and I was working. I was working and this this is one of the things that kills so many people. They don't want to do the work. They don't want to set themselves up to be successful because they're trying to escape the work. Because I had a conversation with one of the guys in my building and he told me a lot of these people, because this is one of the things, this, this is one of the reasons I'm leaving. Uh, a lot of these people here do not work a regular job. now. I don't work a regular job, but I do have my working hours, right? And this and this is why this guy he was telling me, he's like, he said they evicted a lot of people, a lot of people, because you know, being in Buckhead, you you have all these things. And today I was trying to get the dolly in the middle of the day, and they were all taken because there's so many people who do not work a traditional nine to five. I'm not saying that's bad, but they don't. And this is one of the reasons because uh, the guy was like kind of stuttering when he was like, we evicted a lot of people. And I could tell in the parking lot, a lot of people are gone because I can typically leave my parking space and I don't have an assigned parking space and get back in it most days because it's, it's a lot less people here. And I look at the behavior and this is one of the things you consistently see on YouTube. Go ahead to the YouTube search bar and look up, I quit my job with no plan. There's a ton of videos on your YouTube talking about I quit my job with no plan. I didn't have a lot of savings. They just quit their job and they were hoping to work it out, right? And I was just sitting there like, that's just not that smart. And this is kind of the same mindset that so many people have with making money that I'm gonna quit my job, I'm gonna start this business, we're gonna make all this money. I know a chick who thought that her business was gonna blow up. She thought it was, you know, it was really unique, you know, she did all this other stuff and it completely failed. It completely failed. And when she was telling me about it, I knew that she was gonna have a hard time making money with this business. Um, but one of the things that I knew was just talking to her was she didn't have a marketing plan and you can't sell the type of thing that she's trying to sell without having a marketing plan or without having a system. And th this is one of the things that happened. And like with you getting yourself set up to make money, let's go ahead and have this conversation. Number one, you got to go ahead and get your personal finances. I think it is absolutely the, one of the worst things in the world to start a business when you broke and struggling. You don't have no money, you don't have no credit, and you wanna like start this business and make all this money magically. It ain't gonna happen. It's just not gonna happen. So the first thing you need to do is to go ahead and get yourself out of debt. 
if you can. Number two, and this is huge, you should not be driving a car with a car payment. If you're in the position of trying to start a business, you should not be driving a car with a car payment. You should be driving a car that's paid off. I don't care if it's a 1996 Elantra. You need a car to get you from point A to point B because you're building. And one of the things you realize right now, the average car payment, new car payment is $716. And then when you tack on the insurance, 130, that's 850. And gas, that's $1,000 a month for your car with other bills. And this is one of the reasons that it's such a struggle for people to get out and start businesses because they're weighed down by debt. So what you need to do is free yourself. And I'm about to say some stuff that's gonna be really unpopular. Maybe you need to move in with your parents. Maybe you need to move in with your parents or four you dudes need to get together and get a place and four you dudes live together while y'all work it out. You need to put yourself in the position because years and years ago when I came to YouTube, I was living on 1500 bucks a month. You wanna know why? I had money in the bank, but I knew that if I was going to be somewhat exploratory, if I was going to really, really be out here trying to live, that money would have went quick. So I put myself on the budget where like, there was this bar I used to go to, it's closed. It used to be Vino Libra. I would go there and have two drinks and that would be it. And I'd do that once a week. And that was my entertainment. That was my entertainment. Yeah, I had a lot of money in the bank, but I knew. Because once again, when I came to YouTube, I had no clue how this was gonna work out. I had no clue. So I preserved my income. I didn't go crazy. I didn't buy a bunch of stuff. I wasn't out flexing. And this is what I, what I did was I put myself in the position to be successful in the future. And this is one of the things, and like the, the video talking about, we're not going to, this this is not gonna become a passport bro channel. Once again, I, I'm 100% I'm serious about that because one of the things that I find to be really, really a big issue is you have people who want to talk about their fantasy thing without actually preparing themselves to actually do the things that they need to do to be successful. People talking about starting a business, people talking about investing, people talking about Forex investing. Talk, 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 talk. And this is one of the things I know this is a lot of people want to talk. They want to talk about what they want to do. They want to talk about, it, but they don't want to actually ball down and do the do the work. They don't want to do that. And th this is where this thing gets really, really deep. When I wrote my first book, that required me to get up every day and write for four hours a day, five days a week. If I didn't hit my writing goals, I would write seven days a week. This went on for months. And if you do not sit down and do the work and prepare yourself, let me tell you what's waiting for you. Cause you know, like I said, uh, this is, you know, YouTube is really strange. Cause I had this girl reach out to me and she does Do DoorDash and multi-app. She works seven days a week and she wanted me to help her set up her business. And we did that. And you know, it's really interesting. There's a lot of people out there who are about that hustle, about putting in hours, about doing the work, by setting themselves up to be successful. But there's a lot of folks who are on this fantasy tip that they're going to do something. They're going to roll into this situation and it's just simply not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. They're not going to make the money that they think they're going to make. And one of the things that I consistently see is a bunch of people who are out here trying to be successful with no skill sets no skill sets, no skill sets. And you know, right now, let me tell you about YouTube. There's a hundred million YouTube channels. And then when you get to a thousand subscribers, there's 10 million YouTube channels. And then do you know that 90% of the people who start YouTube do not get to 10,000 subscribers? 90%, 90%. And then when you get to over a hundred thousand subscribers, that's 362 channels worldwide. There's only like 60,000 in the United States with 100,000 subscribers. So why, why do so many people, you know, fail at YouTube? And that's like, one of the things is, and I would say, 
buy yourself some training. Daryl Eves has some training. Roberto Blake has some training. In the future, I'm gonna have some training. Uh, I gotta, one of, the, one of the things that you have to understand, cause like this channel took two years to get monetized. When I did Savage Finance, because I did Savage Finance really smart, it took two and a half months to get monetized. Then I had another channel, it took a month to get monetized. So there's a system, there's a process, but if you're just gonna come up here and put up videos of you cooking your coffee, or you wanna do a vlog talking about your bad breakup, it may work out, but here's the thing, and this is something I've seen. There are a lot of people who put out a few videos and the videos kind of hit, then they stop making content. You wanna know why? Because these people are not used to working. They're not used to working. And I'm gonna tell you, Mr. Beast, all these top level YouTubers, they have a team. It ain't just them, they have a team. They have a group of people helping them produce their videos. They have a script writer, they have a thumbnail guy, they have an editor, or they may have multiple editors. And one of the things that you have to do to go ahead and to really, really set yourself up for YouTube is learn the YouTube process. Because everybody, like literally, I have seen so many people come on YouTube, so many people come on YouTube. And everybody wants to talk about business credit or they want to talk about starting a business. And I find that to be humorous because none of these people have a business that's outside of the YouTube sphere. Years ago, I sold on eBay. Years ago, I did the storage auction stuff. This, well, it was documented before I got rid of those videos. But one of the things is you got to work, man. You got to work. And what's happening, what's coming because the layoffs are starting to mount. More and more people are getting laid off. And one of the things that's happening is a lot of these people are not prepared for the new America. And I'm gonna start doing some videos talking about the new America because um, I may even do a video talking about me leaving Buckhead because you know, it was something I wanted to do. It was something that I just had to get out my system and I'm glad I did it. The first year was great. The second year was hell. And you know, I had my car broken into. And I think part of the reason the second year was hell was I was still in the car rental business and that was a nightmare. And I'll, I'll tell you a little story. There's, there's a guy who was in the car rental business and he was talking about all this other stuff. He put out a video talking about he getting rid of all his fancy cars. He's gonna get some dull, boring cars because he's going through it. He's going through it until I started making my car rental story videos. Nobody was telling the truth. There was a few people who would talk about it, but nobody was saying like, look, I got 12 cars that's wrecked. I had someone rent my car and sold my car. No one was talking, but it was me putting out the real truth why I think the car rental business as a whole completely and absolutely sucks. And once again, this, this is part of this whole process of people trying to be successful people trying to you know get into these businesses without a real situation of business experience once again business experience and i had business experience and i had successful businesses before youtube before youtube and one of the things that's going to I'm looking at is uh, I'm getting ready to do a lot of stuff very, very differently, really, really differently. And um, we're going to get into doing things on a different perspective, a different bandwidth, a different level altogether. And one of the things that you will have to do is to look at your situation from a proper perspective. And this is one of the reasons that I put the video where this is not gonna become a passport bro channel. We're, we're, you know, this whole, this fantasy stuff, you know, people wanna spend a lot of time talking about fantasy. You know which channels do the best on YouTube? Entertainment channels, channels that entertain you. Uh, someone put up, her name was, I'm gonna talk about it. 
um, fantastic finances. Um, a little Christian lady who does velocity banking, right? Literally came to YouTube. I don't even think she's been on YouTube a year and she has eclipsed and gotten ahead of all of the people because there are numerous people on YouTube who are talking about velocity banking and they did not get nothing like what she did. She's got her silver play button. I don't think her channel's a year old. She's got like 123,000, 123,000 subscribers and you will see something like this happen all of the time with the right audience. The right audience makes a huge difference, huge, huge difference. But once again, we're getting ready to do a lot of work. We're getting ready to prep ourselves. We're getting ready to prep ourselves to be successful. Because like I said in the beginning of the video, it feels very much like 2009 for me in terms of there's all kind of economic chaos going on. People are getting laid off. People cannot afford a house. People cannot afford this. People can't afford that. People can't afford this. And one of the things that's going to happen is the people who prepare themselves, the people who are willing to do the work, these are the people who are going to be successful in this new America. Because the new America will not be playing with you. New America is gonna have grown women crying straight up all right so once again if you need help setting up your holding company we have a done for you service where we set that up the links below and we also have the man course which is still on sale you can go ahead and get that the links below and we got a lot of stuff that we're going to do because 2024 is going to be tough it's going to be really really tough